Hi, it's me again, Ray from the Radio Workshop. I'm going to bang on, as someone put it, bang on about solar panels. Not so much panels or batteries, but the, the charge regulator or charge controller. That's the one I used. I've been using that for quite some time. Um, it's okay. Uh, there's a photo of it so you can see exactly which one it is. It's okay, but what it does when the battery is nearing you know, full charge, well actually it's not nearing full charge, when the battery is fairly well charged, about 70 or 80 percent charge, okay, this switch is off. What happens is the battery volts, you're charging okay with this type. This is what uh, someone called the old fashioned on off type. So your battery volts go up, up and up and up, get to about 14 and a half, okay, that switch is off. Now 14 and a half up here, this is artificially high because you've, you, you know, your charging has held the battery volts up, it's artificially high. So the volts very quickly drop, okay. As they come down to about here, this switch is on again. So you go up here again. It gets to here and this thinks, well it doesn't think, it says to itself if you listen, oh yeah, it says hello, battery's charged, turn off, go down here, hello, battery's flat, switch on, and this, I, I watch the ammeter, naught amps, right, so it's going naught amps, five amps, naught five, naught five, and it was like windscreen wipers, naught five, naught five, this thing's switching on and off, on and off, that's no good, because as I read somewhere, your battery will never actually reach full charge. The, the best you'll get is 70, possibly 80% charge. So that's no good, you don't want that. Uh, so I went over, it's screwed to the wall, to this type of uh, controller. There we are, look at that one. Now this is supposed to be far better. Uh, with the tests I've done so far, I'll show you the thing, I've, I've videoed it, it's on the wall there now. Um, I've watched as the sun's come up, uh, as the battery's gone up and then I put a load on. Anyway, this type of controller, it's um, PWM, pulse, pulse Width Modulation, don't worry about that. What it's supposed to do, I believe, is switch on and off very fast so it, it can keep a, a trickle charge going on or a float charge and it does seem to be doing that. Uh, I'm quite pleased with it so far. I mean, this is probably okay for a lot of applications but Watching that, uh, I had the analog, uh, as I said, the meter with the needle. The needle was going, dunk, 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 dunk. Uh, not doing the meter any good, to be honest. Whereas this one, it's got a digital readout, which is good. It, it seems to just keep the level about right. It seems to know more what the battery is doing rather than, oh, it's charged, let's turn off. No, it's not, let's turn on. Have a look at the couple of the video clips I've made. It's fairly early in the morning at the moment, so the sun isn't up. <clears throat> Sorry about the grainy video. There's not a lot of light here where I'm videoing this uh, controller. But you can see there's 0.2 amps, 200 milliamps charging. Battery's 12.6 volts. That's now gone up to 0.3 amps, 300 milliamps, 12.6 volts. Uh, it seems to be doing fairly well. The sun is still very low. It's very early in the morning. I don't know why I get up so early really. Now coming up to half an amp, 500 milliamps as the sun is coming up, 12.8 volts. There we are now, 0.9 of an amp, 900 milliamps. So getting close to an amp, 12.9 volts. Oh, nearly 13 volts. Now charging at 1.9 amps, 13.4 volts. Oh, two amps, there we are. Sun's coming round now. Now charging at 3.7 amps. So that's good, that's what it should do. 3.2 amps, 3.1. This is working well, it's just keeping that sort of float charge, the trickle charge there, uh, 3.9 amps. I did read somewhere, I've been doing quite a lot of research into this particular charger, a controller, uh, before I bought it. I've only had it a couple of days, so it, it is early days. But uh, some people were saying, uh, some people say, oh, it's brilliant, it really does work well. Others were saying, charges the batteries all day when the sun's out, all day at 15 volts. Batteries are hot, they're bubbling, they're fizzing off gas, you know, basically destroying themselves. Um, other people were saying, well, they haven't had that at all. 
uh, someone else said that it doesn't charge properly and the battery is always flat so I'm not quite sure what's going on that's why I thought I'd make my own video and show you what you know what my setup is I've only got a very small setup the batteries I've got uh, total 40 ampere hours I've only got two small panels uh, I think the most I can get out of the panels is uh, just under five amps four and a half five amps something like that on a good day so it's only a small setup basically just to power bits and pieces in my workshop um, so yeah what I just a little bit wary of is people saying the batteries are hot and they're fizzing off gas well you don't want that because that ruins the batteries obviously it's dangerous and batteries are expensive I've now turned my bench light on here that one and uh, my amateur radio gear over there which is on 12 volts and it's charging at uh, four and a half amps okay so it it is varying the charge rather than this type where it's char the charge is on or it's off there's no in between that's the problem with that one and many others apparently um, you know what, what this is doing it's sort of charging or to keep the voltage around about there rather than on off on off <laughs> You know what I mean? You don't want that. I've also got a cup of tea here, which is good. So, uh, yes, yeah, so far it is working. The sun's gone in slightly. We're now down to three amps, just under three amps. Um, I'll keep you posted. I won't end the video here because I want to want to do this a little bit further. Uh, where What's the time? Yeah, it is around midday now. So once the clouds pass, we'll have full sunshine and I'll see exactly what goes on there. In the meantime, excuse me while I have my tea also on this one have a look at the photo again there are two usb sockets for phone or ipad charging there i've just got my lead plugged into one of them uh, just beneath that there's a couple of 12 volt sockets um, for running whatever uh, the red button is to turn off the load so you can press that and it cuts the load off i'm running my load from the batteries themselves okay i don't take the load through the controller uh, that's why it's not reading. I think it's charging my phone at the moment, but it's, that's why the load current isn't reading anything. I take that directly from the batteries for various reasons. Um, what that will do, if the battery voltage, I think it goes below 10, it automatically switches the load off. Uh, what's that? Here come the cops. Now I'm in trouble. <laughs> um, so yes, it's a it's a nice little thing. It was, what, how much was it? 19 quid? 20 quid with postage? That one, I believe, I can't remember, that was a lot dearer. Um, and what is nice is, because with this, I had to have a separate ammeter, voltmeter to see what's going on. But um, with this one, as you saw, it's all digital readout. So very pleased with it, right? I'm gonna give it a bit longer. We think we've got full sun again, and it's charging at three and a half amps at the moment. I've been watching it for the last, what, last hour or so. It's, it's pretty good. It's, yeah, not charging at all at the moment. The batteries must be charged. I read somewhere that not many uh, charge controllers, regulators, are genuine pulse width modulation. Uh, not many are really are. A lot of them are just on off and they say, oh, it's PWM. Um, I'm not going to go into pulse width modulation because it's a bit, you need to read it up on the internet. There's quite a lot to it. Uh, basically, it's on off very fast. Uh, there's a, a feedback loop, the voltage in, the voltage out, and all this stuff. It's quite a complex thing, but um, you know, if you want to, read it up on the internet. My batteries are stone cold, as they would be, as they should be. Uh, sun's average. So there we are. I'm not going to waffle on anymore. I hope that's been of some use. Um, I'm not saying that's no good. I shall use that on something else. Um, but I, I have to say that this one, so far... I found no problems with it at all. That is, what is it, the CMG or, or whatever they're called. Anyway, hope that's been of some use to you. Thanks for watching, as always, and I shall see you in another video. Bye for now.